it's me to love one two three four forever with a new video yay i am actually being really more organized with my videos ever since we got 100 subscribers have a lot of books to keep every video in so i'm gonna be more organized from now on yay but today is another valentine's day video i'm aiming to do every one that's on my list um so tomorrow I'll be making Valentine's Day gifts as well. But uh, yes, today is a What Are My Dolls Wearing video and it's a Valentine's Day edition. As you can see, all my dolls are lined up here. Um, because some people are going to be new to the channel, I'm going to go through their names. Most of you will probably know their names. And I'll go through where I got the outfits from and everything like that. So let's get in to today's video. Let's do this one. Okay, so the first doll that I have with me is Violet. She wasn't my first doll that I got. These, This is in no particular order because I didn't want to have to do it in any order. So, yeah. Okay, so this is Violet, um, my AG number 27, if you're wondering. And she is wearing, let me just close the door and zoom out. Two seconds. Okay, let me zoom out so you can see her full on outfit. So don't be looking at don't be looking at this doll. This is Emily. But this is Violet. She is wearing this dress was handmade by my mom for Christmas. Uh, if you watch my Christmas special video, you would have saw Lainey Jane wearing this. This is an our generation belt from the country classic outfit. And can you see the shoes? Yeah, you can see the shoes. These shoes are from the Boho Beauty outfit from our generation. And um, Violet's hair, it's out. I did straighten it a tiny bit, but it's not but straight. But uh, yeah, that's what. Violet's wearing. Okay, I'm just zooming in first so you guys um, know which I'm talking about. Um, this is Emily, Emily Bennett. Um, she is the historical doll, best friend to Molly. And let's go through what she is wearing. So, she's wearing this uh, dress is from uh, China. Um, the clothes that are made from, for the American Girl store, you know how on the American Girl clothes always is made for American Girl in China, yeah. And um, th this dress is actually from the company on eBay. Uh, if I can, I'll put the link in the description. And um, technically they have their own eBay shop and inside the tag actually says American Girl and I didn't realise this until a while ago and on the dress it says for American Girl. This cost me, I think it cost 99 pence and about £2 postage which was really good and her hair is out as you can mainly see. Her shoes are Nikki Girl Year 2007 Meat Boots. They're so cute and I think they really work with this outfit. Okay, so this one is Lainey Jane Holland Girl of the Year 2010. Whose hair is out, but it has been straightened. Um, if you guys don't know, I cut Lainey's hair. I haven't cut it loads, but I cut it a bit because as most of you guys know about the story of Lainey, how I got her for 30 pounds, her hair's in really bad condition. I've straightened it and I've cut most of the splitter ends off now. So let's get into what Lainey is actually wearing. So just like the dress Emily is wearing, the dress is from Hong Kong, China, or whatever. And it's exactly same, it has the American Girl uh, price tag in it. And again, I got it for 99 pence. It is so beautiful, it's from the same seller. I love all these sparkles. And I was meant to get the one for Emily for Christmas, but I didn't get it until New Year. But I did get this one just in time for Christmas. And it is so cute. For her shoes, she's wearing the My American Girl boots, 
not the truly me or anything like that it's the my american girl boots they are so cute i love the little butterfly some people think it's kind of weird how the butterfly's green it is a tiny bit weird but um it's cute and can i just make a very quick thing that um i don't own men's doll shoes and if i do they're not like normal shoes they're like boots or plastic shoes like the ones that violet were wearing i don't have many nice shoes because i i don't buy shoes singularly i buy them with the doll but that is what lane jane is wearing okay so my next doll kit uh Kittrick. She's the historical version, not the Be Forever. So like I said in my previous video, she has a bit, not too long, but she has a bit longer hair. And technically she is wearing this beautiful dress. And when I got Melanie, which we'll see uh, later, when I got Melanie, the seller put like loads of dresses in, because Melanie cost 45 pounds, but she came with loads of clothing. And this is one of the beautiful handmade dresses that came with her. It is so beautiful guys. I love this little button it here, it's like a wooden button. And for her shoes, you can't really see, there we go. She's wearing her meat shoes, the historical meat kit outfit. And her hair is, it has like a bit of a twisty thingy there. You know the hairstyle that I've done in my previous video? That is the hairstyle kit is wearing for Valentine's Day. Oh, I didn't zoom out. Oopsie. Sorry, you can see the dress now. More effects. Sorry, I didn't show you the shoes. I didn't realise I was still zoomed in. Uh, the shoes are really cute, and this outfit is so cute on Kit, honestly. I really like it. For some reason, it reminds me of uh, Kit's um, Easter outfit. You know, like the pink one. I don't know why. She might wear it for Easter. I'll think about it. Let's move on to the next one. So my next doll is Elizabeth, also known as Elizabeth Cole, who was a, a historical best friend to Felicity. Is it Felicity? Yeah, it's Felicity. And her hair is in a high bun, just a normal bun. I couldn't do a braided one because I didn't have time last night and I was really tired. And for her outfit, she is wearing technically her meat outfit. She's wearing this dress, which I love, guys. It is so cute. I love it so much. I love the detail and the glitteriness to it. It's so beautiful. She's wearing this, and she's wearing her meat shoes, which I also love. It has, like, this little pearl thingy here. Can you see the pearls? It has, like, little pearls here. Let me just zoom in for this, because they are so cute, honestly. Which way am I zoom again? There we go. Can you see the shoes? They are so cute. I love these shoes. They are beautiful. And that is what Lizzie, or Elizabeth, or whatever you want to call it, is wearing for Valentine's Day. Okay. Stay. Good tripod. So the next lot I have is Nikki Fleming, girl year 2007. Um, and her hair is out, but it's curly. I managed to recurl her hair because if you saw in the very first photo she had on with her, her hair was like it was crinkly, it was like cr cramp, crimp, cheap, crimp. There we go. It was like that, and now I've managed to curl it properly. It was so beautiful, and it's a bit dry, so I'm gonna put a spray bottle through it later. And um, yeah, that's her hair. For her outfit, she is wearing this uh, designer friend outfit. Um, I can't remember the name of that. I think it's the purple party dress. I got it from the, I got it not the Christmas that she's gone Christmas for that. I got it for three pounds, I think. Um, some people are thinking I didn't know design friend dresses for American girls. They actually do. You have to force it a cut, little bit. A little bit but not too much but um it really works so you can buy any kind of designer friend clothes and it will fit your american girl dolls i used two of my design friend dresses because if you didn't know matt and alex were designer friend dolls madison and isabel so they had dresses and now i just use them for my american girl dolls and it's a really pretty dress and i really like it, it also comes with a little handbag but i couldn't find it for today's video 
and for mm -hmm. for the shoes that she's wearing these I think they're handmade I'm not 100 sure these shoes came when I got Annie Elizabeth which was two Christmases ago the same Christmas that I got this dress with and I really like these purple shoes they're so cute I got them with Annie Elizabeth and they are really nice and they are handmade aren't they because they don't come with any American girl outfit and they are really cute it really works with this dress and I think it's on the cutest outfits here today. Okay, next is Annie Elizabeth, who isn't looking at the camera. Who, before in the comments and section, she is a real American girl. She's just customised. And I just wanted to get that out of the way because I do sometimes get some rude comments about Annie Elizabeth. But anyway, Annie Elizabeth Jenkins here today, who is my custom doll from 1980-something or other, so she's pretty old. Um, she was my very first American girl, who I got two Christmases ago. And today, let's just see you, mate. She's wearing this hand, boo-hoo, my tripod. Uh, this handmade red knitted dress, you know when I told you about Melanie and how she came with all those outfits? This is one of the dresses that it came with, along with the one that Kit's wearing. For her shoes, she's wearing a pair of... Hang on. For her shoes, she's wearing a pair of red Mary Janes, and they have like gold buckle. Those came with Mel's dress. And for her hair, it's just out and it's got a pin in the back, just like a little glittery pin. Uh, so yeah, sorry about the shadows. I've had to use my studio lamp. I've had to use my studio lamp because I'm not filming it in my studio today. So, sorry about that. And my next doll's Grace. Gosh, Grace isn't in many videos, only because half the time I honestly can't find her. Can you guys ever find your mini dolls? I mean, literally, Grace is everywhere. She's under the bed, she's in the doll room, she's in the clothing box. Half the time, I don't know where this doll is. But I found her for today's video. She's wearing this, it's actually a skirt. Uh, I don't know if you know, but you know Beanie Babies? Yeah, they make doll versions of Beanie Babies. And they're called TY dolls or something like that. And it comes with little outfits and stuff. And I had loads and loads of them. But I grew about them because they were a tiny bit hard to look after. Because their hair was synthetic. It was really horrible. So I chucked out all my dolls recently. And I kept all the clothes. And I used one of the skirts to make a dress for Grace. Doesn't the dress look so cute? I love it. It's like it's a pink skirt. It's a pink frilly skirt. It's so cute. I've lost all the Grace sh Grace's shoes. They're really hard to lose, okay? They're like that big, they're tiny. Um, Grace's hair, just, I'm thinking about taking out her meat braid, I don't know. But she just has her meat braid in. And her hair's really frizzy. I got it ages ago, and I got it like a year ago. And um, yeah, that's Grace. She's actually in the video today. Uh, Matt is one of the two boy dolls in the doll family who was a design friend doll originally but I had his hair cut, took all the makeup off and everything. He still has like a bit of makeup on his eye but I, 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 I'm I, scared if I take it off I'm gonna take something off the eye as well because these eyes they're absolutely gorgeous. I won't zoom in because it might scare a few people but um, the eyes they're absolutely beautiful and I don't know if I rubbed it, it would ruin it so that's why I'm going to leave the eyes. But let's zoom out. I'm actually sitting on the tram video wing with. Uh, Matt, because he's a lad, um, he's not wearing something too flashy. He's just wearing this Our Generation uh, uh, jacket from the... What's it called? Uh, Love Demon or Demon Pretty outfit, something like that from Our Generation. This top from American Girl, the American Girl pretty plaid outfit. These handmade trousers. And these trainers are from the My Friend Chloe doll. Which is really, really cute. Ugh, gonna fall off the chair in a minute. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother zooming in for my boy dolls because it's 
kind of a bit hard to get their faces staying in the same position. Um, my next boy doll is Alex, Alex Newton. Um, he is my second boy doll, which is design friend doll Madison. Again, took off all of his makeup and had his hair cut. Uh, he is just wearing this white top. This came with Melanie, because like I said, Melanie can do a lot of clothes. I couldn't find any shoes for Alex, so the poor thing is not wearing any shoes. But his trousers, they're handmade. And he just looks really cute. He's always cute. But he always wears the same outfit. Matt just deserved a change, right? Okay, I seriously need to get a bigger spaced memory card. So, ran out of time my memory card, but I had to delete one of my videos, but saved on my computer. So, what I was on about Alex. I'm literally done with Alex. I don't know what I was talking about, but there we go. Uh, let's move on to Melanie. I'm not going to stop the video because it's only been like, what, 22 seconds long. Okay then, let's move on to Melanie, who has been mentioned many times in this video. Uh, Melanie is best friends to Chris Ergelia 2009. I didn't find out about this until like three or four months after I got her, which is really funny. I didn't realise what doll she was, and then I did, and the doll's happy. But her hair is just out, I don't do many things with her hair because sometimes it's really hard to get it back without frizzing it. This dress is again from Hong Kong, China, like the one that Blaney and Emily were wearing. It's a really pretty pink one. This was one of the first ever dresses that I had for my American Girl dolls, no joke. It's really cute because there's like this pink ribbon at the back as well that's turned in the bow and has a little flower on the side and it's all netty. So the shoes she's wearing designer friend, Madison shoes, because Madison who's Alex, was wearing those shoes when I first got her. And yes, she looks so cute. Okay, no point to move my camera fully because I'm nearly done with this video. The doll that I have here is Laurie. Laurie Parks Ikena. I love the name Ikena from um, Kanani. And what she's wearing is, if you haven't saw the video, the pizza is my Valentine's Day sweater, how to make it check that out because that's what Laurie, Laurie, uh, Laurie P is wearing. Uh, these leggings I actually bought from Tesco's, baby leggings. All you have to do is cut the feet off them and you've literally got a pair of leggings for your American Girl doll. Just buy the zero months one, you know, for brand new baby ones. Just cut feet off and you can have a pair of American Girl doll uh, knitted leggings. For the shoes, can you see the shoes? No, you can't. Oh, God. For the shoes, she's just wearing the American Girl Garden shoes. I got these for £6 off eBay. Um, the lady that was selling them lived near me, so my dad just picked them up after work one day and he bought them. They're so cute. I love these. So let's finish off this video. So that is it then for today. Until tomorrow. I have completed my video half an hour late. I wanted to finish at five, but it's nearly half past five now. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry if this was really long. I have too many dolls to go through their outfits and their names and everything. It's just ridiculous. It's probably shorter now, but uh, yeah, pretty much. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Your heart doesn't sink, it just needs the spa extra space for that special someone.